uh, Javon, um, uh, discuss the impact uh, Darrell Johnson's made up there up front and how much, uh, you know, his pressure helps you guys in the back end. No, nah, that guy's unbelievable, man. Like, he's a, he's a workhorse, man. Like, anywhere the ball is, he, he thinks that he should be the one making the play. So, uh, just with him having that mindset, um, it just makes our job in the back end a lot easier. Uh, we can just focus a lot more on the passes and uh, leave the front, the front, uh, like the front sixth um, for the play to uh, the run. So, uh, just having him just busting his tail every play, just going out there dominating who's ever in front of him. Uh, he's been a very big factor to this defense. Let's go to Eric Johnson from WSOS. Hey, Javon, appreciate your time this morning. Just uh, two games under your belt now. Your assessment of your group here early in the season and, and where you guys are looking to improve. Uh, we From uh, the last couple of weeks, we're looking to improve more in the – in the communication realm of this uh, defense. Uh, just going out there and just communicating at a high level and just making sure that we can get all our uh, executions down and just just going out there and just being the best that we can be just, and, and dominating. Next up, we'll go back to Damian. A coach brought up earlier this week, uh, you know, limiting the big plays and, you know, tackling and making sure you guys sure up those two. Uh, elements uh, is that part of the communication aspect of making sure you're aligned properly so that way you're not allowing the big plays and not having guys out of position so you can't be there to make tackles oh yeah definitely um it started it first starts with the assignment and uh, the alignment and then, then it goes to the keys so so as long as we get those those couple uh things pre-slap then uh we can we can definitely stop a lot of things post-slap so just that communication like i said is, is gonna that communication is going to stop a lot of things that but we weren't we weren't able to stop uh, prior. What's the week been like in practice? Uh, Anthony was just on saying that you guys have been harping on limiting the big plays, making sure you're lined up in assignment, and also tackling's been ramped up this week. Uh, what's that been like to kind of get into uh, that type of week after you know you're limiting the tackling during practices? Uh, yeah, we just do a lot of more like drill-based uh, tackling. Uh, it's not really like live where you're going to go just maul and take the dude down. It's more like uh, just getting your fits uh, on, on ball carries or just getting your fits on receivers, whether or not you go, if you're going to play the ball or play the receiver from the back end uh, standpoint. So just doing those drills and practices is, is really what's going to translate on to game day. So as long as we get those drills throughout the, the week in practice, I feel like that you're going to see a lot of improvement uh, from week two to week three. Did you say more thud probably than, than tackle? Uh, yeah, it's always thud. It's never – we never take down in practice at all, no matter if it's drills or, or whatever. All right, let's go to Brad Butler from uh, Liberty Flames Sports Network Radio. Can't hear you. Brad, you're muted. My bad, sir. <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you're thudding, um, are, are you going full tilt uh, speed-wise, or are you dialing back? No, nah, we go full speed thud. So full speed uh, up to contact and just thud them up, keep up. Stay, everybody stay off the ground because right now we're not too deep in a lot of positions, so we don't we can't afford to, to lose somebody off of a stupid, silly play at practice. Thoughts on uh, Doug Smith, uh, your high school coach. Um, curious to, to know how, how things were for you over there at Appomattox and how that prepared you for your time here at Liberty. Uh, he's an energetic guy. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to my mind, which is just like uh, Coach Bruce Johnson here, the running backs coach. So uh, I look for him to get, get, get that juice to the team, and then I take that from him and I – Give it back to the team, also. But but Doug Smith, he's a he's a very all around guy. Like he is, a, he's all around. Like he helps his players. He's off the field help, on the field help, classroom help, financially. It doesn't matter. He's 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 trying to find a way to to make you a better human being in the in the long run, not just a better athlete. And and I think that's a big big uh, part of why I have so much success right now. And just. The things that he taught me back in high school, how to how to lead, how to how to face adversity, how to how to do everything from putting time in my shoes to going out there to play football. So he he taught me a lot of things. He was a good mentor as a as a whole. Yeah, he's a class act. Sorry, Brad. Thank you. Uh, 
Javon, I want to ask you real quick about uh, North Alabama. Um, receiver seemed to be a concern for Coach Freeze on Monday. Uh, positionally, that was one thing he specifically mentioned. But then uh, Anthony Butler was talking about him a little bit uh, ago, said that they're they're just solid receivers. They, they do things well. They run routes well. I mean, what, what have you seen from them, though, just looking at them on tape? And what kind of a challenge will they be? Uh, technicians, they, they're going to do what they're told to do. So we can't play with lazy eyes on the back end. Um, they're definitely solid route runners. Uh, Levy, he's a pretty good guy. So we just got to go out there and just play with our technique and our eyes and, and, and limit the explosive plays like everybody else probably has been harping to y'all, telling y'all the same thing. So as long as we just limit those explosive plays to those to those big target receivers that that, that, that quarterback is, is trying to get you, I think that we can just go out there and dominate.